Life is Strange is a fantastic game. I'm still playing it to get all of the bits that I've missed or how I wanted to do. Now, you're probably going to say to me, Adam, why haven't you done this with the other ones? Like, if it's episode and why? Look, I'm sorry and I do apologise for that. I know I didn't do it with Strange Things or Western Evil Revelations, but the truth is, to be honest, I thought I could fit it in and get my brain sorted. To be honest, I'm going to admit now, I didn't. Today we're going to be reviewing Life is Strange episode 1, and we're going to be doing many episodes of reviews each week. These won't be as long, but at least it'll be something. And yeah, we will come, we'll, we, we, we will do Before the Storm as well. Here's the intro. Life is Strange is a video game about you playing as a young teenage girl adult called Max. Max had a friend called Chloe. Five years ago, she moved and never actually spoke. Whilst Chloe's story in those five years is actually told about in Before the Storm, links below. This one is basically after. So Max comes back to Arcadia Bay to this high school. The first image of this um, episode one is that, well, we're in a storm we are, and it's basically just somewhat of a dream. But what Max does not know that this is something more, and something may get given to her, a power that could be deadly, or that could be used for good. In this, we she wakes up, and she's in a class called, well, Fototovki, which which seems to be because they're talking about it. the teacher, Mr. Jefferson, and also other students named as Kate Marsh, Victoria Chase, and much more, are in this class. Now, the first thing that may come to know that this is a choice game, so you can choice, you can make different choices of what to do, what not to do, all of that, including dialogue choices, much more. Now, I'm not going to go too much into dialogue stuff, but basically, after this little scenario, the main first point is that Mr. Jefferson and his Everyday Heroes contest. He wants you to enter, but you have not yet, and, and you're enthusiastic and you don't want to, and you're basically saying to yourself, I have a terrible gift, Max. So, when you walk out of the classroom, the intro sequence start and you're playing in it you are whilst Max is listening to some music and with episode 1 being paralysed you walk to the bathroom to have a stress out segment you take a photo of a butterfly that comes in and then the main bits actually begin a student called Nathan Prescott one of the sons of the Prescott family who's been dominating Arcadia Bay for about the last six years already is basically in this room, in the bathroom, in the girl's bathroom being all angry and calming himself down, a bit like a psychopath and then this random girl comes in Max doesn't know her yet but this is Chloe her friend that she neglected for five years and this is when we see her now, spoiler, she dies, but before doing that, Max goes up, no, and then she discovers she has time rewind powers. She can't go forward in time like anyone could, but she can go back in time. Anyway, so off that she could go back in time and we live the moment in a way that this is the future and she could tell time she could. She discovers her powers and wakes up back in the Jefferson's class, or Dave Jefferson, at the back of the beginning. And then, well, main for this bit, that you have to save Chloe. You do that by getting a hammer and smashing the fire along with it, and Chloe is saved. But then this starts on something else, that before you go out, you have to tell Principal Wells what's wrong. If you don't tell him what's wrong, then he'll assume that you're bad. If you do tell him what's wrong, then he'll assume that you're good, but then he's looking into it. Please press on the bit where you report Nathan, 
because the story will go as it's told. If you click on the other options, then it may not seem as the story is told, then you will not get the full thing and this will reflect on your consequences. Each action that you take either has a good consequence or a bad consequence. When you report Nathan as soon as you go outside, by seeing a lot of people including signing a petition and talking to other students, you also see tons of thousands of posters of Rachel Amber, a missing student that's in before the storm that died by the hands of Mr. Jefferson and Nathan. But as you go out, Principal Wells announced that can Mr. Prescott come to my office, assuming to talk about what you've just reported. Now that's where it starts really. You go to get Warren's flash drive, you give it to him as you're talking, Nathan Prescott comes and he's about to choke you or maybe even hurt you. Lucky enough, Chloe comes along to save the day. Well, her, so let's say. And that's where most of it starts out. You talk, you meet the dad, you do, and then by the end of it, well, it's basically Chloe discovers there's something wrong with you. After you faint, you come back up, it snows, and there it is. Episode 1 is a fantastic start. If you want to get it, it's free for most of the consoles. It's a great start, and I love it. So, episode 1 gets a complete 10 out of 10 for me. It feels short, but in a way, I like it. This is just the beginning of a normal life that turns quite shit. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching this part, episode 2 of this. Well, I guess it's going to be coming quite soon. Anyway, uh, if it's your birthday, say happy freaking birthday to you. And I will see you all in the next one. Please remember to stay beautiful and also, but, uh, sup.